What's going on guys, Hobo Handliner here. Uh, so basically I was going out today to look for trout. Didn't get anything on all my trout bait and went out, picked up some red worms and threw them under a float and basically did a junior version of the night crawler rig I've been doing for the bigger fish lately. Had ourselves quite a day. So it was, uh, it was good to switch things up um, and try to catch something other than the fish that I was originally going for. That's uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're fishing. Always be ready to have a, a backup plan. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. We caught lots of fish, uh, three different species. It's a good day. And um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's off to the work week uh, tomorrow. So, enjoy. See you after the intro. <music> we go on that red worm with that six pound line first cast got a bass nice little baby version of what I've been using in the past uh, couple weeks perfect hook set in the top of the mouth nice all right so this works in jumbo size with the bigger circle hooks and the night crawlers and in baby size with the mosquito circle hooks and the red worms. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie guys, I was expecting my first fish to be a bluegill with this setup, but uh, got ourselves a nice healthy little bass. Awesome! Or something else probably a bluegill huh feels better than a bluegill Let's see what we got nope it's a bluegill no it's a bass it's a little bitty bass i thought it was a bluegill nice like literally a third of the size of the last one but it's a fish cool the little dude wasn't messing around hungry little guy Finally got fish number three. Let's see what we got. A beautiful pumpkin seed. Absolutely beautiful pumpkin seed. Wow. That's pretty. It's a picture worthy fish for sure, guys. That is beautiful. Whew. It's one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. Even for a pumpkin seed that's really, really vivid. Nice. That was a crazy hook set and pulled him right out of the water. Didn't realize I even still had him. Another big beautiful pumpkin seed nice awesome that was a crazy bite awesome awesome fish number four very pretty Now we're 
bird yet. And I'm, is this another pumpkin seed or bluegill maybe? Another pumpkin seed. What did I find a school of these guys? This is the biggest one yet. This thing's huge. That is a toad. Okay. Trying to stab me, I see. And that's the biggest pumpkin seed I've ever caught, ladies and gentlemen. Picture worthy for sure. One more look at that guy. Almost an eight inch pumpkin seed. Beautiful. Another pumpkin seed, guys. I have found an absolute school of these. Or is this a bluegill? Nope, it's another pumpkin seed. Wow. What is going on? I usually only catch maybe one of these in a trip. And now I got a whole army of them. Let's see if we can get this hook out of them nice and easy. Come on. There we go. Off he goes. Another fish there, guys. What do we got here? Little bass, little bluegill. What do we got? Little bluegill. Third species of the day. Good. Got another one in the books for the day. Little bitty girl. Tiny little bluegill. We'll take it, though. There we go. Another fish. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I think it's just a bluegill, but strong fight on him. Oh, it's a big bluegill. That's a good size one. Wow. Wow, okay. That's a very, very hefty bluegill. Holy cow. Let's get a picture of him. Yeah, guys, good bluegill there. Easily eight inches. Very nice. Good fish. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up. I'm all out of worms, and I got 6% battery left. So let's wrap this show up. Yeah, folks, that's going to wrap it up. Pretty good day of fishing. Uh, lots of those pumpkin seed. That's uh, it's pretty crazy. I've never caught more than, like, one or maybe two in a day. Um, really good-sized bluegill. A couple small bluegills, and then those two bass pretty good for using little bitty mosquito hooks and just some live red worms under a float so these are the dog days of summer but i'm still making it happen pretty much anything wormy and crawly is still getting bit so keep that in mind when you guys are out on your fishing excursions and uh good luck for all you guys uh trying out handline fishing yourselves anyways i'm the hobo handliner signing off i'll see you in the next one guys